Tell me what you don't like about yourself, Miss... Monroe. I had it legally changed for professional reasons. Hey, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't usually go for the plus-size gals, but I always had a thing for Marilyn. What do you do? Parties? Theme parks? The Walk of Fame. I stand outside Grauman's Chinese Theater and take pictures with tourists. Wow, well, the theater pays you for that? No. I'm an independent contractor. I work for tips. I was the highest earner on the block. I made more than even Chewbacca and Superman. Until she got in the way. Now no one wants me. They only want her. Sorry. Late night on the set. Oh, you were wonderful in last week's episode, Doctor. Such dramatic intensity. I would love to be on that show. So, you were talking about some woman that you worked with? Sharon. Who's Sharon do? Anyone she can get her slutty little hands on. She does Marilyn, too. It used to be okay. She would do noon to six, and I would do six to midnight. We were friends. What happened? First, she started staying later. 6.30, 7. Now she's there all night. She has no boundaries. Here's the thing. Sharon's more talented than me. I own that. She has a wonderful voice, and she dances like a dream. But I have more star appeal. It used to be we each had a piece of the pie. But now she's honing in on my territory, and it's not fair. The Walk of Fame has become a battlefield, doctors. I need a bigger set of torpedoes to give myself a competitive edge. You want breast implants? The idea being bigger boobies, bigger tips. Bingo, baby. Okay, baby. So, look, I don't mean to be rude, but in your line of work, are you sure you're going to be able to afford this? I've saved up. Sure, it hurts to crack open the nest egg. But what option do I have? This is my livelihood. I have an opening on uh, Thursday morning. Oh. <laughs> You're wonderful, Dr. Troy. <laughs> <laughs> but I couldn't pass up the opportunity to work with a star. I was hoping Dr. McNamara could do me. I'd be happy to do you. Thank you ever so.